good morning to all of you today it is the fourth video on cyber security which is an elective of mca program under vishveshwaraya technological university in this uh, module 4 or video 4 we look at cyber security tools and methods used in cyber crime Mainly the content that we focus in this fourth video is we give an introduction proxy server and anonymizers, phishing, password cracking, keyloggers and spyways, virus and worms, Trojan horses and backdoors, stenography. DOS and DDoS attacks once again in brief, SQL injection, we have already visited what is SQL injection, buffer flow, attack on wireless networks. Friends, we know that we also follow book written by Nina Gorbole, Sunit Velapure on cyber security. As a part of the introduction, we will see various tools and techniques used to launch attacks against the target. Let us understand before going to this, scareware, malvertising, click jocking, ransomware. Basic stages of an attack are described to understand how an attacker can compromise a network. Before attacking, there are some of the steps. There are six steps that we describe as part of an attack. Initial uncovering in these two steps are involved. Reconnaissance, attack. second step is attacker uncovers information. Second, network probe crossing the line toward e-crime, capturing the network, grab the data, covering tracks. Let us go to an understanding of proxy server and anonymizer. Proxy server is computer on a network which acts as an intermediary for connections with other computers on that network. First, attacker connects to proxy server. Proxy server can allow an attacker to hide ID. Prox purpose of proxy server is to keep the system behind the curtain, speed up access to resource, Specialized proxy servers are used to filter unwanted content such as advertisement. Proxy server can be used as IP address, multiplexer to enable to connect number of computers on the internet. An anonymizer or an anonymous proxy is a tool that attempts to make activity on the internet untraceable. It accesses the internet user's behalf, protecting personal information by hiding the source computer's identifying information. Phishing is an attack which we can say introduced in 1996. Fake email using other reputed companies or individual identity. People associate phishing with email message that spoof or mimic banks, credit card companies or other business such as Amazon and eBay. How phishing works? 
fishers works as follows first they plan they set up attack they do collection of interested information and they involve theft in theft and fraud in the planning they decide the target and determine how to get email address very importantly in setup they create the methods for delivering the message and to collect the data about the target in attack they send a phony message that appear to be from a reputable source for example they collect the information of victims entering into web pages or pop up window they use the information that they have gathered to make illegal purchases and commit fraud in the last step of theft and fraud friends we have to also understand virus and worms computer worm virus as we all are aware is a program that can infect legitimate programs by modifying them to include a possibly evolved copy of itself we know that virus stands for vital information resource under seas virus has spread themselves without the knowledge or permission of the users it contains malicious instructions virus can start unevent driven effects time driven effects or can occur random viruses can take some actions they can display a message to prompt an action into which viruses enter it can scramble data on hard disk delete files inside the system cause erratic screen behavior hurt the personal computer replicate themselves virus spread and virus spread through internet and virus also spreads uh, through stalon stand alone system virus spread through local networks true virus can only spread from one system to another whereas a worm spreads itself automatically to other computers through networks by exploiting security vulnerabilities there is a difference between virus and uh, worms S uh, different uh, types of viruses are stealth virus self modified virus encryption with the variable key virus polymorphic code virus metamorphic code virus when you come to types of worms email worms instant messaging worms internet worms irc worms file sharing network worms speed the virus it needs a host program to spread spread virus spreading mode of the virus whereas worms spreading mode self without user interventions inception of the virus if you take the creeper virus was considered as a, the first known virus it spread through it was spread through our planet in the early 90s 70s it spreads through telex os and user connected modern to dial out to a remote computer and enforce it the name worm originated from the stockware rider a science fiction novel published in 1975 by john bruner later researcher john f shock and john a hop at xerox park published a paper in 1982 the worm program and after that the name was adopted 
These are the, some of the differences between the virus and worms. Types of viruses as per the Nina Godbole cyber security book, we can take these categories or types of viruses based on the attacks on various elements of the system. Boot sector viruses infects the storage media on which a voice is stored and which is used to start the computer system. Spread to other systems when shared infected disks and pirated softwares are used. Program viruses which are active in program file usually with extension .bin, .com, .exe, .obl and .drv is executed and can make copy of can make copy of itself multi-partite viruses hybrid of a boot sector and program viruses steal the viruses mask itself antivirus software also cannot detect alters its file system and hide in the computer memory to remain in the system undetected first computer virus named as brain in case of stealth viruses polymorphic viruses like chameleon that changes its size its virus signature that is binary pattern every time it spreads through the system that is multiplies and infect a new file polymorphic generators are routines that can be linked with the existing viruses generators are not viruses but proposed to hide actual viruses under the cloak of the polymorphism macro viruses in fact documents produced by victim computers these are the sum of the types of viruses let us quickly go to the trojan horses as we are aware trojan horse is a program in which malicious or harmful code is contained inside apparently harmless programming or data in such a way that it can get control and cause harm it gets information from number of ways including web browser via email or with software downloaded from the internet Trojans do not replicate themselves, but they can be equally destructive. Examples of threats, examples of threats by Trojans. They can erase or overwrite or correct data on computer. Help to spread other malware. Deactivate or interfere with antivirus and firewall. Allow to remote access to your computer. Upload and download files without user knowledge. Gather email addresses and use them for spam. Slow down, restart or shut down the system. Reinstall themselves after being disabled. Disable task manager and control panel. Copy, this, copy fake links to false website. Display porno sites, play sounds, videos and display images, log keystrokes to steal information such as password or credit card number, backdoor. It uh, means of access to a computer program that bypass security mechanisms, programmer use it for troubleshooting, attackers often use backdoors that they detect or install themselves as part of an exploit. It works in background and hides from users. Most dangerous parasite. It allows a malicious person to perform any possible action. Programmers sometimes leave such backdoor in the software for diagnostic and troubleshooting purpose. Attacker discovers these undocumented features and use them. Backdoors can be as simple as you may download a software from some well-known that the website that you are confident in. 
They may get downloaded along with the software which really makes some cleaning of your system. For example, they may garbage collect the items and they may provide you the memory. While you downloaded such programs, backdoor may get downloaded automatically. Backdoor programs may start working after few days. It may start working opposite to your purpose and may start giving the information without your knowledge. Examples of backdoor trojans, back orifice, enable user to control a computer running the Microsoft Windows operating system from re remote location. It is also required to understand how to protect from frozen horses and backdoors. The initial uh, steps that we have to do as take care is to stay away from suspected websites and web links, surf on the web cautiously, install antivirus and frozen remote softwares which are available. We look at the remaining topics of this particular mo top module, tools and uh, methods used uh, in cybercrime in the next class. In the next class, we discuss stenography and remaining topics. Thank you.